Meteorite worth $26,000 each rained down on Brazil town. Well that will be our topic for today. Disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only and this topic is based on the article posted by Daily Mail Online News. Meteorite rained down in Brazil? Could it really happen? Hmm? Hundreds of chunks of meteorite worth up to $26,000 each rained down on Brazilian town. Thousands rushed to remote settlement as locals dub it, the day money fell from the sky. The meteorite dates back to the origins of the solar system, before Earth formed. Locals in Santa Filomena, in the northeast of Brazil, described it as a miracle. Many fear the largest rock, weighing 40 kilograms, will be shipped out of Brazil. Residents of Santa Filomena, a remote town in northeastern Brazil, were left stunned on August 19 when hundreds of chunks of meteorite rocks worth up to $26,000 rained down from the sky. According to reports, the pieces of space rock are believed to part of a 4.6 billion year old meteorite that dates back to the start of the solar system. Interestingly, only 1% of all known and studied meteorites are of this type and specimens can sell for tens of thousands of pounds. Local people from the poor, rural town who have found one have become instantly rich. Student Edomar da Costa Rodriguez, 20, remembered how he was at home in Santa Filomena when he saw the sky fill up with smoke. He then started to receive WhatsApp messages from townsfolk saying it was raining rocks. As many as 200 fragments of the meteorite, which fell on August 19, have been found so far in Santa Filomena, northeastern Brazil. Reports claimed that locals in the rural town Santa Filomena, who have found even one of the rocks, have become rich. One of the pieces reportedly weighed more than 40 kgs and had an estimated value of $26,000. According to a professor from the Sao Paulo University, the meteorite is of chondrite type and one of the first minerals that formed in the solar system before Earth. The price is getting close to 40 reals, 5 pounds and 50 pence, per gram, and it's getting higher. Only a few days ago it was half that. 90% of the town's population are farmers. There aren't many shops, nothing that generates jobs. It's a humble place, with people on a low wage. Most people think it's a really good thing. Lots of people have found a rock, and it has come at a time when many really need some money to pay the bills, he added. Within hours of the rocks falling, meteorite hunters traveled to the town from other parts of Brazil as well as professional collectors from the U.S. and Uruguay. When four scientists from Brazil's National Museum in Rio de Janeiro arrived in Santa Filomena on the day after the meteorite shower, the town's only hotel was full and they had to rent a room in a local family's home. The team is also trying to negotiate a price for the biggest 40-kilogram stone. They fear they won't be able to beat the price being offered by an American hunter, and that the rare rock will be shipped out of Brazil. Gabriel Silva, from Sao Paulo University's Chemistry Institute, said, This meteorite is of the chondrite type. Many believe locals shouldn't be allowed to find and sell the space rocks, especially to foreigners who will export them out of Brazil for good. This meteorite caused a lot of excitement among collectors and researchers. The demand is high and so the price suddenly shot up. There aren't many Brazilians who are able to buy the 40 kilograms meteorite, so foreign millionaires are buying them to take abroad and sell for even more. The mysterious nature of these celestial events never ceases to amaze us. Thank you for exploring the captivating world of meteorites. From their fiery descent in the Earth's atmosphere to their impact on our planet's history, meteorites are truly remarkable. Keep looking up at the stars and may your curiosity continue to ignite your journey of discovery. Farewell and happy exploring. Thank you for watching. Please like share and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos and to help me out for my upcoming contents.